Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bricks, and today we're going to be breaking down one of my synths out of my new preset pack called Mirrors, and this is what it sounds like. Cool, so let's go ahead and start by just deleting everything we have and starting over from scratch here. I'm going to start off by putting in a Maelstrom. We're going to reset the device. I'm going to throw mod B to curve 20 along with mod A. And then we're just going to switch this over to a square. Drop the octave by two. We're going to pull the index all the way to the right and that's going to give us this. So we're kind of getting that square sound already. I'm going to throw both of these on sync. I'm going to bring the volume all the way up and the motion all the way down. Put the rate at 3 over 16 and we're going to put it on one shot. And it'll still be played in quarter note as long as your MIDI is hitting on every quarter note. And then for this synth, I'm going to put this on this steep ramp curve right here. And then we'll just change the rate to 1 over 4. Next, let's turn on oscillator B and we're going to put in a sawtooth 4 and we're going to move the index kind of around like 103, 105 area I think sounds best. We'll just leave it at 105 for now. Bring the octave down 2 on this one as well. Then we'll move the pitch on mod A down a little bit. Add a little bit of index and a little bit of shift. I almost forgot we got to put this on one shot and that will give us this which doesn't sound great yet, but that's where the effects come in. So we'll start by adding a Scream 4 on here. We're gonna move it to Tape Distortion. We'll put Parameter 1 all the way up and Parameter 2 all the way down. We'll cut a little bit of lows, add a little bit of mids, and just a little bit more highs, and just kind of make these little steps right here. For our body, we're gonna go with E, and we're just gonna add a little bit of resonance. Then we'll bring the scale up a little bit and add some auto to the body and then dial back the damage control a bit and that's going to give us a little bit more grit and distortion to the sound. And now we're kind of moving in the right direction. Next thing I'm going to grab is a channel EQ. Do you want to level up your music? This rhythm combination pack from Bricks is exactly what you need. Eight unique rhythm presets fully customized. Now do you want to play support for Subtronics? Then you need this pack. On sale now for $30 at BricksDub.com. Shout out Dave from the unit. We're just going to turn on the high pass filter and we're going to bring it up to around like, I don't know, 130, 140 hertz. Just get rid of some of the low end. And then I actually almost forgot to turn on filter A. We're going to go with a comb minus. We're going to bring the resonance up a little bit, somewhere around like 18, 19. And we'll bring the frequency down to around 19 as well. And we're gonna switch this from envelope to KVD. All right, cool. Now we can move on. We're gonna grab a phaser. We're gonna turn sync on, put it on two over four, bring the modulation amount all the way back. We're gonna dial back the width a little bit, somewhere around 90, turn the feedback down, and then we're gonna mess with the frequency and the split. We'll bring the frequency down to around 40, and then we'll offset it with the split somewhere around like 50 to 54. Next, we're going to add a chorus flanger. Same thing, sync, two over four, modulation amount down, and then we'll mess with the delay and the feedback. Pull the feedback down a little bit, just somewhere around here, and then delay will go around 80. Then we're gonna grab an RV7000 reverb. We're gonna pull the dry wet down a little bit and the decay down a bit. I think actually I had the motion down on these as well, but you can mess around with the index on oscillator B. To give some different sounds. You can also root this filter B into filter A. Yeah, so like making any small tweaks to any of these parameters is going to make a huge difference and that's why this sounds slightly different than the original patch because any any small 
difference on any of these parameters is going to make a big variation in the sound. So if you want this exact preset, how it sounds, it's available in the Mirrors Volume 1 preset pack that's available now down in the description. Along with all these other presets here as well, um, they're all fully editable, they work with Reason Rack, and uh, they're 100% royalty free. You can use them in your songs as is, or you can tweak little parameters. and get different variations in the sounds and whatnot but hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial hopefully you learned something if you'd like to grab the pack again it's in the description below um thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next time peace